You guys ready for another shave and spray? Let's do this. Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day today. Today, I'm going dark. It's gonna be rainy, super windy here today. I'm going with Beautiful Death, Dr. John's Flowers in the Dark. Beautiful lavender cedar balm, really deep, dark, um, still nice and floral, obviously lavender. Really nice artwork, good job. Um, and I've got the matching splash to go with it. I think there's even more cedar that comes out in this. This is really dark, super nice. It's not like super musky. Um, it's just, you know, really deep cedar scent, obviously with the la lavender as well. Um, Bruce, uh, Bruce today is gonna be Big Brush from Razor Rock. And we're going Razor Rock with the Razor also. The .84 Game Changer with the barber handle. Really heavy, super, super knurled. Very grippy. And for scent today, I'm keeping the uh, the rich lavender scent, and I'm going Layton by, by Parfum de Marly. Another beautiful scent. All right, get a little water in the sink here, which I probably should have done beforehand. Um, and I'm going with a Voskhod blade today, a Voskhod. Um, I typically go with a feather blade when I've got this much growth. I think I've got, I don't know, four, four days, five days. I'm not sure. But anyway, typically I would go with a feather, but I want to try the uh, Voshkod in this game changer um, with a lot of growth and just kind of see how that see how that works. I've um, got some soaking water here that I'm going to get on my face real quick. I'll be right back. The lavender itself in there is really rich. Um, kind of reminds me of Barrister and Man Reserve Lavender. Um, the lavender portion of it, obviously not the cedar portion of it. Um, but if any of you guys are out there that have Reserve Lavender uh, from Barrister and Man, I think you'll love this as well. This is just a little, a little darker take on that. So if you haven't tried it, please do. And let's get this baby lathered up. Doesn't take a whole lot to get going in there. Lathers very well. It does have soaking water on it to kind of loosen that top layer. I don't know that you need to, but I do it anyway. Got gobs of lather already falling out of there. All right, so I think we're good. This residual onto my face. Got to work from home yesterday, which is fairly hectic when I have my son here also. He only goes to school two days a week because of the whole COVID thing. So I have to kind of keep him in check while I'm doing my thing also, which is not always the, the easiest task but it was successful we had a good day and now I'm ready to get back to the office <laughs> it's kind of like uh, you know if you're working on vehicles in your own garage um, with your own tools and then you have to go do something in someone else's garage where you don't where, know where everything is everything's not in its exact place that's kind of what it's like for me Really strong scent. And as you lather it, it just gets stronger and stronger. 
and I'm definitely okay with that. A little water in here. Get some more water in there. Can definitely hold some more. All right, I think we're good. Nice and shiny. Let's get this going. No wonder that scent's so strong. I got soap up my nose. Not really. It's that strong anyway. Alright. Probably don't need it, but I'm going to put a little um, alum on my fingers anyway. Even if I don't need it for the, for the razor for grip. Sometimes when I want to stretch my face, I'll need some for that. Line up sideburn. Never used this combination on this much growth, so see how it goes. I have faith it would do just fine. And Dr. Johns has a new uh, triple thrash threat. If any of you guys remember that show from. MTV back before all the metal music that they played. Um, anyway, has nothing to do with that. Um, they've got three different um, Halloween scents uh, coming out. You can go to their website and find out more about it. It also comes with some pretty rad t-shirts. Looks like some really neat um, artwork. nice and slick really nice soap base really nice formula vegan formula Very nice first pass. Very nice residual slickness. Let's go again. I feel like my sideburns may not be the same. Let's see. Take a 
a little more off of that one. There we go. This is such a heavy razor. Have to be real careful not to overshave. Very easy to put too much pressure on here. You see, I'm not even holding the bottom of it. It's got really great balance to it, really nice. like to try this with the open comb head as well. Getting closer. Keep seeing my lights flicker here. Hope we don't lose power today with all the wind and rain. And there's still leaves on the trees, so make it pretty heavy. Gotten a few more subscribers in the last week. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the channel. I certainly enjoy making the content. Yep, that's what we're talking about. Great slickness.
very nice. And I hit just a couple of my known trouble spots. Just feel for anything I missed. Not much to get, just some little bitty spots. Wish my hair grew in like a predictable pattern, but it doesn't. It grows all over, so I have to hit it from lots of different angles. I get tickled when people talk about how many passes I do. If you only knew. All right, let's get cleaned up. Seal these pores up. Zero feedback anywhere. Be honest, I'm kind of surprised how easy it was to take that off with the Voshkod blade. Uh, but it, you can see, it did a great job. It really is a nice blade. I find myself liking it more and more. It's you know, it's just sharp enough, um, and it's really smooth. It, you know, it kind of it took the place of my Persona Lab Blue, um, which I used to use all the time. And was actually my first, my first love blade. Um, but I really like the smoothness. I, I, I would say that it's a touch, it's a touch less sharp than the lab blade. But I feel like the smoothness makes it better for me. Um, and I've got a fairly coarse beard. And it still is plenty sharp for me. And you guys know that I use, you know, feathers, Gillette Super Blues, you know, other really sharp blades. Um, this one does great for me. All right. A little splashy splash. Love that artwork. Very cool. And I love this aftershave formula too. It works about perfectly with my skin. Really moisturizing, but not so much. I mean, I've got a pretty oily face. Um, and it's not so much that I feel greasy. Just enough to feel awesome.
if you don't feel awesome, I recommend you try this stuff. Even if you do feel awesome, you could be awesomer. Maybe you could be the awesomest person around. Or maybe you can make bad jokes like I do. Puffum de Marley, Layton. Strike Gold Shave has their version or their I don't, I don't want to call it a dupe, but their dupe of this called uh, Jumbo. And it's been out, but it's uh, coming out again. Let me close this door so I don't waste this nice fragrance in the in the fan. That's all you need. One spray in the front, one spray in the back. Thank you guys for joining me again. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to have a wonderful day. Um, God bless all of you, and I'll see you on the next one.